In tonight's 7 on your side, health alert, new concerns about a virus carried by mosquitoes now that there are new confirmed cases in the U.S. These new cases are in Texas and Massachusetts, but there is no known treatment. Karen Travers has more on the symptoms and how far this virus has spread. Today, Texas health officials confirmed the state's first case of chikungunya, and officials in Boston said over the weekend they have four cases there as well. So far, this nasty virus has been brought to the U.S. by infected travelers who'd recently been to the Caribbean. It's now spread to 27 states. There is no medicine you can take to prevent it. There's no vaccine. But what you can do is try and avoid mosquito bites. This tropical virus is rarely fatal, but the symptoms are pretty terrible. Fever, headache and rash, joint pain that could last for months. The symptoms kick in about three to seven days after the mosquito bite and last about a week. Ashley Manning of Georgia went on a mission to Haiti in early June. She got her malaria shots and used mosquito repellent with DEET, but said she didn't realize she was at high risk. Manning got bit by an infected mosquito, and within days of arriving home, she started experiencing painful symptoms. My joints were hurting really bad. I was like getting really out of breath and uh, was like having a fever. A health officials say the biggest risk here is in the southeastern U.S. The most cases have been confirmed in Florida. But since it's only spread by a bite from an infected mosquito, officials say protecting yourself is easy. Using mosquito repellent, repairing your screens so that mosquitoes aren't coming in your house, and getting rid of freestanding water. Health officials say that the biggest worry is that instead of this being a disease a traveler brings back here, that the mosquitoes here begin to transmit it. Karen Travers, ABC News, Washington.